of witches for Witchy King. Seven Witches of Ariat and the Magic Egg. In the forest of Fred lived seven witches. Yes, seven. Do you know how to count? Do you like counting? One. Rosie. Two. Sally. Three. Leah Four Julie Five Susie Six Lily And seven Maria All seven of them lived in the forest of Fred. They went up, they went down, they ate, they sung, they slept, they run, they even played cards. One day, in the middle of the forest, beside the river, a very big and bright thing appeared. It was an egg. Let's make a soup, said Rosie. What a potion, said Sally. We can fry it, said Leah. We can boil it with snails, <laughs> said Julie. We can make a guitar, said Susie. Silly is what, what you are, said Lily. Whatever, Whatever we, we do, let's, let's take, take it home, home, said Maria. While they were deciding what to do with the egg, what can we do? Should we wait? No, let's open it. No, let's wait. <gasps> what can we do? Should we wait? No. Let's open it. No, let's wait. One of the witches took the egg and left it inside of a box. Next morning, after breakfast and when they were outside, they heard a gentle sound coming from the egg and they all went to see. All seven of them flew on their broomstick, found the egg had cracked open. What do you think there was inside? Was it a dragon? No. Was it a snake? No. Was it a dinosaur? No. What was it? It was a unicorn. 
a colorful, a sweet, a beautiful unicorn with stars and sparkles around him. He's too big for the soup, said Rosie. We can make a potion, said Sally. We can fry him, said Leah. We can boil him with snails, said Julie. He can play the guitar, said Susie. Silly is what you are, said Lily. Whatever we do, let him out of the egg, said Maria. And then, the little baby unicorn, he kissed Rosie. He hugged Sally. He winked at Leah. He held Julie's hand. He looked with love at Susie. Smile at Lily. And he strolled Maria. Oh, they all went. Let's give him soup, said Rosie. We can make a potion for him, said Sally. What if he wants a fried egg? said Leah. Or boil the snails, said Julie. Shall I bring him the guitar? said Susie. Silly is what you are, said Lily. Whatever we do. Let's find him a nice name, said Maria. Eating, singing, sleeping, drinking and playing cards with the baby unicorn, Patrick, trying hard to make him become a witch like them. But the poor unicorn couldn't help it. He was just a unicorn. He fell off the broomstick and he broke the witch's heart. He didn't like potion. He loved snails. One more rainbow and I won't sleep tonight, said Rosie. He will never have words in his nose said Sally. Oh, his hair is soft and beautiful, said Leah. We could use his hair to make a guitar, said Susie. Silly is what you are. Whatever we do, let him out of here. But Patrick, Patrick loved the witches. And just, just before they took him out, he looked for a vegan recipe, asked a snail to be a worm in his nose. He used his wings to fly with the broomstick. He made a hat out of music and darkness. And he looked at the witches with loads of love. And they all went, Oh, we should keep him. Yes, let's keep him with us. So yeah, they all kept him. And the seven witches and Patrick, they were eight. Going up and going down. Eating, singing, sleeping, drink, drinking, and playing cards. They all seven filled the forest of fret with colors and happiness forever. The end. And please, if you're a witch and you find an egg, take care of it. You might find a good friend there.